Got him. Woo! Woo! So, hopefully you guys can hear me. This dam's generating a bunch of water right now, as you can see. We're just gonna show you guys, we're catching big old rainbows. I mean, 20 inches, 21 inches. I'm gonna show you how we're catching these big old rainbows real quick and easy. We're throwing a little split shot with a little, about one fourth ounce weight. Right in this little swirl right here, it's kind of taking it over towards this wall. We're just free lining it, letting it sink, just holding our rod, and then as soon as we feel them tap, 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 we're opening the bale, letting them take it, and then boom, setting the hook. We're getting fish every two, three, four minutes. Big old rainbows, solid fish. Let's go get some fish and let's go. You got one? Well, that didn't take long. Let's see him real quick. We're letting him go. That way one of y'all can catch him. All right, well, yeah, that's basically how we're catching him. Doing a worm, letting it drift that up here and just let him take it for about two or three seconds. Boom, let it rip. Got it. That literally took 30 seconds. this fish. This one's actually on the smaller side. He's a real fat, thick rainbow. It literally takes 30 seconds and we're just nailing them one after one. So I figured I'd show you guys. I still have my fish on that last one I just got. Got him. All right, guys, so mainly when trout fishing, you're using like an ultralight, you know, four or six pound line. Down here, I'm actually using a bait caster with 15 pound line. A little split shot like this, a little, about one fourth ounce weight. And then I'm tying actually a catfish hook. It's this size. This is what we're catching them on, believe it or not. Like, I'll rig this up, I'll show you, I'll cast it out, and I'll catch them, I bet. I'm tying the polymer knot, by the way. Throw a little micro on there, leaving a little tail. I'll kind of show you guys here. Just letting them go like a snake. Coming out of here. Got him. Got him. Woo! Dang, he nailed that. Got him. I called that one. He's already right here. Nice big old rainbow. Woo! He almost jumped out of the net. All right. Oh, look at that fish. You got one? I'm going to try to just grab him. Ow. No. Shoot. I got him. I got him. Ow, that thing stabbed me. It's a nice fish, so I cast it right out in the middle. I'm gonna let it float around for a split second. I'm just gonna hold it. When I can feel him tap, 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 I'm just gonna yank. So that's a, oh, just like that. He's tapping. Boom, got him. This is a good one. I think it's a rainbow, ain't it? It's only like every 30 seconds if I can feel him in there, and boom. Woo, woo. That's a solid fat one right there. Put him on the stringer. Just solid rainbows. That's what we're doing out here. Figured I'd share with you guys. Now that we got our limit, we're gonna head out of here. Yesterday night, we came down here, nailed the big trout one after one. Actually got our limit about 35 minutes, so um, as you can see, it's the next day. We're gonna come back, try it again, see if we can have that same look during the day with the day bite. But once it gets that real dark kind of stage, these rainbow trout, they just really shut off. That'll save you guys some time. Brown trout will hit after dark, but as far as rainbow trout, they don't really hit much once there's no light on the water. So we're down here today, we're gonna try it again, and let's go. <laughs> They are still here during the day. Yeah, somehow my drag got super loose. I thought I missed him. Got him? Oh, wow, yeah. I still got mine over here. Look at that freaking thing. Ooh, some freaking hogs. They are still here. Even midday, what, about 11.30? Got that spawning looking mouth. Woo. We've actually caught three. We let one go. He was right at like 17. I think I keep one over 16 each. So I got a big one. I don't know. It's probably about 20 inches. But I was just going to show you guys fishing any spillway. I mean, obviously they're going to have rocks and stuff. So one little trick that I was doing. So if you have your split shots like this, one thing you can do to kind of distribute the weight is move your split shots higher and lower. Not too close to your bait or else you'll see it. But if you distribute them like this, so you can see right here and right here, that way all the weight's distributed and it's not a straight pulling point down to one area where it can get snapped. So let's go try this. Got him. Whew. You good? That's his fish. Fifteen and a half. Okay, perfect. You got another one? Whew. 
a nice fish. Got him. Trying to keep him out of that rock. Got him. Oh, is that your head? Mm -hmm. Whoops. <laughs> I was looking at my fish. You got one too? Shoot. That's a big one. Oh, did it again. Got him. That's a good one too. I still got mine over here. It's a freaking brute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see yours. Oh yeah. These are some freaking hogs. All right guys, caught our limit already today. About an hour and a half and six trout. The biggest one I caught was 22 inches. I was getting away with those big hooks and that big line. We got one? We've just been sitting down here catching them, letting them go. Since we already got our limit, but he caught them a lot faster but he was using a real small hook. I would say use a little bit smaller hook during the day, but fishing wise, I mean, you always gotta be adaptive, willing to change. I mean, that's how we came down here. And here we've caught our limit both times in about an hour. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It's a walleye, it's like a nap. Walleye? Is that walleye you just caught? Freaking just hammering them down here. Woo. So we'll do a bunch of different stuff like this. You know, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on anything. I lied. We're back at it. So this is day number three. Please let's go. Another nice one. I didn't take long. Came back at it and boom, big old rainbow. Oh yeah. You got one? I saw you in the screen. I was messing with the camera. Big old brownie. Look at that. Big old brown trout in there. That's a big old fish. Woo. Big trout fishing is hard to come by and we're sitting down here just whacking one after another. You can see this little back pool right here. So if you can get your worm in there, basically it's just a floating worm just waiting to get whacked. That's one of the tricks to uh, fishing these spillways. Little worm, little split shot. Cast it out there. Open your bale. You know, just circulate right there until a fish comes up and whacks it. Got another one. Is that fish. Good one. Yeah. That's a pretty big rainbow. Woo. We gotta let this big guy go. Unfortunately, we got two that are a tad bigger. Another one. How's it feel? Nice catch. You see that trout jump halfway up that wall? That right there is a good sign. That sun's right going right over that mountain. The sun's getting off the water. This is your best time to trout fish. So from about here to the from about here till dark, we should be doing pretty good. Let's see if we can get some fish. Let's go. Got it. Told ya. Woo. Woo. Look at that fish. You got one? I'm telling you guys, find a spillway wherever you're from. Come down here, drift a worm. You won't regret it. Yet again, another big fish. Couldn't even tie my hook after the last one. Back to tying my hook. I'm telling you guys, the secret to trout fishing. No matter where you're from, find the spillway. Literally drift a night crawler. You're generating water. Fish like that moving water. Go out here, drift a worm. You find the backwater. It's always going to come out and then it's going to pull back wherever the white water stops. As you can kind of see over my shoulder. Right here is where it's kind of circulating back. And that's where we're casting it. Letting it take it all the way up. Your worm's basically just going to float around. And I mean, what fish doesn't like a worm just sitting there floating around? That's the key to help you guys be more successful, I guess. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I'm going to try to do a lot more fishing tips like this and stuff for you guys. But, uh, yeah, let's go first, let's go first, huh? Let's go. Got Same fish? I don't know. Your line and my line are down in here. What the heck? Both our lines going down in there. That would be crazy. It's a fatty. It's a big fish. Yeah, it is. No way. He has both of them. No way. Both of them? Yeah. That is crazy. Whew. Look at that thing. My lord. You can probably see right here both lines. Both lines are down in it. That is a big fish. Whew. was insane. I was trying to like watch it in the screen. You got one again? Jeez, can't even die a hook. Like I'm saying guys, find the spillway. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big fish right there. Another <laughs> hook out? Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh. Barely even had my hook tied yet again and he hooked into a monster. If you guys are liking the video so far, hit that subscribe button. We'll be doing a bunch more fishing with little tips and tricks to help you be more successful when fishing. So hit that subscribe button for me. Peace.